Hi, this is Shadi and in this video we're gonna see a battle of past and present and we're gonna be looking at Soichi Hashimoto and Toshihiko Koga and specifically the one arm or one sleeve Sode Tsurikomi Goshi. Now Hashimoto himself said that um, he took the inspiration and does the Sode with one sleeve from Koga himself but we're gonna see that did he build on it, did he make it better, or simply still the same, or even not even a good emulation. So we're gonna look at the two of them doing it, and see what's the difference, and also which one has it better. So we start with Koga, and we see here that Koga for his time, the early 90s, 80s, etc., he was way ahead of his time to do something like the one sleeve sode, and this is how you evolve judo, you add a little bit to yourself, other judokas have done it. So we see here that he skips the lapel grip and he rolls the arm around his waist or on the abdomen and rolls it so they form a cross, you know, perpendicular and he throws them. So the fact that the arm is stuck and rolls around his stomach really helps with uh, hurdling or carrying over the opponent on uh, the back or the lower back so it's a perpendicular uh, position he puts them in he makes sure that the arm is close to his chest or abdomen so it kind of you know flows with the rest of the body and also because back then you know grabbing the legs it was legal so here he pushes with the leg to really um, push and helps the throw so uh, it's very fluent and very uh, aesthetically pleasing throw here we see Hashimoto's version of it and you can see there is a slight uh, difference for example the sleeve goes over the shoulder and not uh, the lats or the back so he kind of has him in a, uh, a diagonal position on his back they're not particularly perpendicular so he did add his own uh, thing to it you can see the sleeve goes on the shoulder so it's kind of like the traditional sode but without uh, the lapel rather than koga does it uh, strictly perpendicular they form a cross and he hurdles him uh, over his uh, back so i think hashimoto's sode is a bit different it's a mix of very old and also uh, koga spin of one arm and one or one sleeve uh, so that's really komigoshi but let's see him do it in competition and try to see whether he was able to do uh, his own version or try to apply his own um, spin on it let's see it so here the first example is against Haidarov it's a very uh, famous example we can see that he tries to get the sleeve over the shoulder but it rolls on the back similar to Koga so it went it ended up being very similar to Toshihiko so they um, let's see another example here if you can see uh, the sleeve go on the shoulder here we can see that it is um, a success by the way um, Koga he rolls almost on the side but uh, Hashimoto bends over forwards and does it here we can see he hurled it on the shoulder so I would argue uh, Koga is a pioneer definitely because he's the one that came up with it but uh, Hashimoto can blend the evolution of it which is the one sleeve grip and also uh, puts uh, the basics to it which is carrying over the shoulder without the lapel grip so each one has his own uh, add, add adding or additive uh, to it I believe that uh, Koga for his time was a huge revolutionary um, he added you know something like I said for the 80s and the 90s to do something uh, really uh, like smooth and also you know only grabbing the tip of the sleeve is very revolutionary for that time there was no social media there was no examples you cannot just go uh, on YouTube or Google and just you know look up various example and then you know easily create your own spin on a technique but rather 
uh, he worked on it and Hashimoto emulated him but also kept the basics the, the basic Sode is you hurl the sleeve over your shoulder and not perpendicular like Koga and I think uh, Hashimoto did a very good job of paying homage to Koga but also um, paying homage to the basics or the ancestors of Jiu Jitsu the, the people who actually came up with this uh, throw so I think what uh, Hashimoto did is actually very respectable and really uh, nice of him but if I have to give it to one of them it would have to be Koga because like I said he added an invention to an invention and also whether it's on the shoulder or perpendicular to the back uh, it's still something very revolutionary and fluent um, don't get me wrong Hashimoto's Sode is pretty cool but um, I have to go with the man who came up with it in the first place I hope you enjoyed this small analysis uh, if you have another insight to this let me know down below this was Shady and thank you for listening <laughs>